Hey everyone, it's Janice from sunny Southern California and today I'd like to talk to you about an exhibit that I went to. I love Marilyn Monroe in case I didn't tell you guys that before and I went to this free exhibit called Essentially Marilyn and it was at the Paley Center for Media at 465 North Beverly Drive in Beverly Hills. Now, I found out about this exhibit on the television news. So, what you get to see at this exhibit is you get to see costumes and artifacts from the life and career of Marilyn Monroe. It opened on August the 18th and it runs until September 30th. The Paley Center is thrilled to present this Profiles in History exhibit showcasing an extraordinary private archive of Marilyn Monroe treasures. Costumes from her films, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, The Prince and the Showgirl, and How to Marry a Millionaire, among others. Marilyn's script from The Seven Year Itch, beautiful large format photos, of Monroe captured by photographer Milton H. Green. Unique historic video material from the Paley Archive chronicling the, chronicling the icon's contributions to television. So the Paley Center is a nonprofit organization that hosts these exhibits and they only ask for donations because they are a um, nonprofit organization. So it says that it's free, but when we went, we stayed there for about, let's see, I think we were there for three hours because in addition to the Maryland exhibit, there was um, some Neil Simon things going on upstairs, and then there was an exhibit by the artist Hirschfeld, and then also on another floor, there was a Lucille Ball exhibit. So there's many things to do at the Paley Center, and also... They let me look up something that I wanted to see because you can go into this one room and they have headphones and you can pull up whatever you want to see that um, they have archived. And what I asked them is I asked them if I could see some Farrah Fawcett stuff. And so I was able to find a Farrah Fawcett guest appearance on The Tonight Show and also on that same episode, Brooke Shields was on there. So that was fun. I stayed up there and I watched um, episode of The Tonight Show. But if you have a chance to go to this and you're in California, you're in Beverly Hills, it's really amazing because not only are there costumes and dresses that Marilyn owned, but there are um, some photographs that I believe were hers or her family's and they span from the 1920s all the way to the 1950s. So I found the photographs to be super interesting too. There were things there that I had never seen before and there is the key she was given by Jack Warner to Warner Brothers Studios so that was interesting and a copy of her um, invitation to her first marriage was in a showcase. So if you've ever wanted to see any of these dresses up close and personal, oh my gosh, the dress that she wore in the seven year itch where the subway was blowing up her skirt is there. And so is the dress that she wore when she won um, Photo Play's Newcomer of the Year award. And absolutely, Joan Crawford hated that dress. She said that Marilyn did not look appropriate for the award show. And it's a gold dress um, in front of an Andy Warhol portrait. So if you get the chance to go, the Paley Center for Media is only open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from noon until 5. They have very, very short hours, but if you can make it out there, it's totally worth it to go see this exhibit. Because I heard after this exhibit they're going to get ready to have an auction. So I know I'll never be able to buy any of this stuff. So I went to go look at it. I just loved 
being able to see it. You can't touch it, but you can pose next to it. And the thing that's really cool about this exhibit is you can get really close to the dresses and um, you can take pictures and the museum. Well, it's not really a museum. The Paley Center for Media, the people there are super nice. And I just, um, we donated some money because it's free and they said that they only run on donations. And it's a lot smaller than you think it is. Here's a picture of what it looks like. And I thought that this, you know, Center for Media would be larger, but it's quite small. It looks small. Anyways, this exhibit, like I said, runs until uh, September 30th. And there was another thing I was going to show you. Let me see. If I can... Oh, they also have free weekend screenings, family screenings for everyone, Saturdays at noon, free admission. And they had... Um... Well, anyways, if you want more information, go to paleycenter.org. It's Paley, P-A-L-E-Y, center, C-E-N-T-E-R, dot org. Okay, I just really think that this is a really great place to go, and you'll have a fun time. If you love Marilyn Monroe and you want to see some of her things up close and personal. Oh, they even had address books of hers that she had Joe DiMaggio's address and phone number. And it was really interesting just to spend time and just think that, you know, you're near stuff that Marilyn Monroe actually wore or she actually touched. And I just thought it was great. So if you end up going, leave me a comment below. If you have any more questions, leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye. Love ya. See ya.